Now, how you move your trail elbow in the downswing can either make or break your golf swing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three drills. Every single one of them is gonna train the proper trail elbow movement so you can hit better golf shots. I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's get right into these drills and improve your downswing. So guys, before we get into the drill, let's explain a little bit about why the trail elbow is so important in a downswing. So if I get up to the top of the backswing here and make up a, a pretty decent backswing, but let's say I start my downswing and my right elbow starts pointing behind me. Now you can see immediately when I do that, what happens to the club shaft in transition. It steepens, so it gets very vertical. Now when a club shaft gets very vertical, there's a few things that can happen. We could really have a mini over the top swing, which is what a lot of guys do that causes their over the top golf swing. We could either hit very steep down on the ground, really big divots, or we could make a compensation, which we see quite a lot of good players do, where they will early extend to try and manage that shaft to get it back on path. So not a movement we want. Why? We want this to come in front of us. So the good movement is trail elbow getting in front of your body. We can see straight away the opposite things happen to the shaft. The shaft is shallowing. When it's shallowing, you're managing your path, you're managing your club face, and you can rotate freely there. If I was the opposite, I can't rotate from there. I'll just hit right down into the ground. So that's a really important one here to do, guys. So really getting into these three drills, they're all really good. Make sure you stick around for the last one though, because it's a drill that absolutely anyone could do in a golf swing, whether this is your problem or not, and it will make a massive difference. So stick around for that one, and let's get right into the first drill. So the first drill here, guys, is all gonna train getting this trail elbow in front of us. And this is one we can do at home without a golf ball. So a really good one. So all we do, we get up into golf posture. I like to grip the club normally first, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grip the other end of the golf club. So I'm gonna grab the club head. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna flip this shaft over to where it's on the right hand side of my right forearm. Now, all I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna rotate up to the top of the backswing. And now I'm gonna pull this. See, I'm pulling it forward in front of my body with my left hand whilst I'm rotating. This is getting me with that right elbow in front of my body. So we know if a club was in my hand then, it would be shallowing, doing everything we want to. So I'm just gripping it with my left hand, rotating up to the top and I'm pulling it and rotating. Now we don't just wanna be pulling it without rotation because that's not really how we swing in a downswing. We always rotate in a downswing. So we wanna be pulling this there with rotation. So it's matching you know, our downswing as closely as we possibly can. This in my opinion is probably the best drill to really do for this if we don't have a golf ball. And it really is well, because this for quite a lot of guys can be a, let's say a shoulder mobility issue or a flexibility. You can feel such a good stretch in your shoulder doing this as well. So it's a really good move to do to even make all the joint around your shoulder region flexible enough to get this right elbow in front of you. There's no better drill out there really for working at home to do this one. So that's the first drill. Now let's get on to the second one, which we can hit a golf ball with. A little bit more difficult, but it'll definitely get you the feel you need. Now guys, the second drill here, you're really gonna be able to feel like this right arm's in front of your body because you're forcing it to happen with this drill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get and set up to the golf ball just like normal again, but we're gonna keep our right hand on the golf club. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our left hand. So this for me for a right hander, opposite way around for a left hander. And I want this hand to be literally just cupping my right elbow there. So we can see, now I'm gonna do this without a ball first, just to show you. We can see if the ball wants to stay, there we go. Now, I'm just gonna make some swings here, keeping with my left arm, my left hand pushing my right elbow in front of my body. So I'm preventing this move of that happening, my right elbow coming upwards and getting stuck behind me. I'm now forcing this right arm to stay in front of me just by keeping it there with my left hand. So what are we gonna do? We could do it with practice swings just like that for sure. I would recommend that to happen first, but if we wanna get the maximum effect of it, we can hit some shots, just some little ones doing this, just keeping that right elbow in front of my body by my left hand there. So let's hit a little one here. So very kind of difficult shot you can see, but it's really gonna train in that move. Now, it's perfectly fine to struggle with this to start off with. I struggle with it as well, and I do this move quite well in the golf swing because it's a one-armed golf shot. So, but it's really gonna give you such a sensation of that right arm staying in front of your body. So don't worry if you fat it like that. We're just trying to get the feel of the movement in there. So you can progress from this up to practice swings, then to hitting shots. But to be honest guys, we're only hitting shots that are gonna go a very short distance doing it as well. 
all about the feeling rather than the result. So that's a great one to do to ease you into that, getting that right elbow in front of you, getting the feelings. Now the final drill here guys is all with a ball. So here I've got the impact ball, where this is just a training aid that's meant to be kept in between your arms. Any kind of mid-sized ball, like a soccer ball, football, anything like that will be absolutely fine. So why is this gonna help our problem? Because what we do with this ball, we put it in between our arms, just underneath our elbows. So if we get up to, let's say, a three-quarter back swing, because that's about all we can really properly swing up to with this type of ball in our arms. Now, if we come down into our downswing and our right arm starts to separate, you can see this ball is not gonna stay in between my arms. It's always gonna fall down to the ground, so it's gonna give us really, really good feedback for that. What we gotta do here, guys, obviously, if our move is, our wrong move is dropping the ball, we've gotta keep it in between our arms going through. So really making sure there that my right arm is feeling like it's still staying connected to the ball. Now, a good thing, if this is like, let's say a really big problem for us, it's a real prominent problem where we do this massively, we could even, while this is such a good drill, use an extra little feel here where we could try and get our right elbow to squeeze that ball coming down on the downswing. We're trying to squeeze that ball into our left arm. So my right elbow is squeezing into my left arm and that really gets my trail elbow moving in massively. So this is gonna be a really good one. So even if I hit, let's say just a half swing first, but in a downswing, I'm trying to squeeze my right arm into the ball. We're gonna see, other than being splashed by water there, we're gonna see a pretty good movement, the one we exactly wanna do. This is the best way to do it, guys, in my opinion, with hitting a golf ball anyway. So we've got our right arm one, which is great. We can only really hit 50 yard shots for the feel of it, but this we can still hit some pretty good golf shots doing it, which gives us kind of the result we're after. So we'll really see the ball flight kind of result from it as well of just the feeling. So this drill, so I always say to people, training aids are good if they do match your problem. They've got to match your fault. So this, I mean, if you're struggling with your trail elbow going behind, it's a perfect training aid for you to go and get and practice with. So again, this is just practice on steroids is what I call it. Really, I'm trying to squeeze this in the downswing, squeeze my right elbow into the ball. Again, really, really good. And it gives so many other benefits. It trains good extension through the ball. So if you're someone who struggles with a chicken wing, obviously if we chicken wing, this ball's gonna fall out. It's gonna really help you with good rotation because your arm structure's kept there. You can just continue to rotate. Club face control. God, there's so many things that this ball is good for that just, it could just be just a random like soccer ball, guys, or football or something. It could be just something like that. We can get a lot of reps in and it will really do the job. So this is a really good one to do. So once we've got all those practicing guys at home without something, we can just get there with that club get in front of us, even a few drills here with that one arm, training aid if we've got it, or if we've got a ball at home, that will suffice. And then that same feeling, just like always, then we need to get some proper reps in of the feel we want to get, right elbow, get in front of the ball. And there we go, that's how we get this movement going in there. So guys, three nice simple drills to do. Each one of them is really gonna help this problem massively. They're, in my opinion, the three best ones. That's why I put them out here on this video. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please press that like button, hit subscribe and hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a golf video. They're all just like this, nice, simple to understand, straight to the point, and gonna improve your golf massively if you follow through the video nicely. So after this video, you know exactly what you need to do now to practice that trail elbow, get that work in, and this problem will be gone in no time.